Hi all, welcome to my channel on statistical analysis and in this tutorial we are going to look at regression and how to find the regression equation as well as how to forecast or predict values based on the regression equation. So first of all we will uh, see what is the regression. So regression means in order to find regression first of all there should be a correlation between two variables. If there is a relationship between two variables we can find a numerical equation to represent that relationship which can be either a linear equation or a nonlinear equation so in this tutorial we are going to look at linear regression equation using the least square method so once we have this uh, regression equation we can forecast some other value if you have the value for one variable if you have the value for one variable we can substitute that into the equation and then we can predict or forecast the value for the other variable so that is the main reason we are having this regression equations so now we will look at uh, how to use the least square method to find the re uh, regression between two variables now this is actually what we are doing uh, we have this scatter plot with x and y variables and then you have these other data points that you have in this as uh, blue dots and we can draw this line which will make the distance between one of these dots and the vertical distance to this line to be minimum that is the uh, least square method so this line is drawn such that the total of distances to these points is minimum that's why you call it the least square method and once you draw that you have this y equals a plus bx equation y is the dependent variable x is the independent variable and a is the gradient a is the intercept that is the point at which this line will cut the y-axis and b is the gradient or that is the slope of the equation so this is a simple linear equation uh, where you have y equals a plus bx now the requirement is finding this a and b values or the intercept and the gradient so that we can find out this equation to do that we have these two set of simultaneous equations you have the sigma y equals n a plus b sigma x that's the first equation we can substitute values uh, into this equation that will be the first equation and then we have the sigma xy equals a times sigma x plus b sigma x squared again we substitute the values of xy and then now you will have two equations which contains a and b as variables and we can solve them simultaneously to get the a and b values which are going to put into this simple linear equation okay so now we will look at some examples let's say we have the first example that is the rain and the harvest and remember in order to find the regression first of all you have to see whether there is a correlation if there is no correlation then you cannot find a regression as you cannot predict values if there is no relationship between two variables so we have used this uh, example with the earlier uh, correlation tutorial and here you can see that we had a correlation of uh, plus one uh, 0.937 so that's a strong positive correlation therefore now we can proceed and find the relationship or the numerical relationship between these two variables now to do that we get this sigma we have the sigma x we have the sigma y we have the sigma xy and the sigma x squared now we substitute those values into the two equations so you can see that uh, 344 is the sigma y and 10 is the total number of values and sigma x is uh, 12,225 you substitute that value and then in the second equation also you substitute the values of sigma xy and sigma x squared and then you will get this these two simultaneous equations and you have to solve those two simultaneous equations and then once you do that you will get a value to be 2.507 and b value to be 0 0.026 now we have the linear equation or the regression equation that is y equals 2.507 plus 0 0.2 uh, 0.026x by using this equation we can predict a value if you know the uh, value 2 of the x okay so now we will do some forecasting using this uh, regression equation now let's assume the next cycle here you are expecting uh, 1250 millimeters of rain so what we are going to do is we are going to substitute this value into the x variable and then we are going to get the forecasted value of the harvest so you substitute the x value and then you will get this answer and then the finally you'll get y equals 35.007 so that will be the forecasted harvest for the next cycle if you have a rain of 1250 millimeters so again you can see this pretty easily you can find out these forecasted values once you have this linear regression equation next we will look at the second example in this one 
uh, we are going to use Excel to find the regression equation. As I have told you earlier, uh, these are the two variables that we are using and first of all you there need to be a correlation so we have found the correlation to be minus 0 0.76848 that is there is a strong negative correlation because of that strong negative correlation we can go forward and find the linear regression equation so now i will open up excel and then uh, i will try to find this uh, linear regression equation using that one so let me go to Excel and then we have this traveling time and the GPA. So we are going to use this uh, data analysis tool path. Go there and then we have to select regression. I select that and I say OK. When I say that I have to give the range, input Y range. So in this case, the Y value is going to be the GPA or the dependent variable. I will select that and then the x value or the independent variable that is going to be the travel in time i will select that now and once i have it i will uh, say labels in the first row as i have labels here and i will have a new worksheet fly and i will say okay when i say that i will get this large uh, set of data this is actually a variance analysis we don't we are not going to look at all these things at the moment but we'll be looking at them later but the important thing to us is this uh, intercept that is the a value that is the point at which uh, the graph the graph cuts the y-axis that is 4.169 and then the traveling time that is the gradient of the equation that is the b value that is minus 0 0.048 so again i will tell you the important thing for us to find the regression equation is this coefficients that is the intercept coefficient as well as the traveling time coefficient so now we will put them into the into uh, in, into the equation and then we will find out any forecasted values right now i have taken this uh, a value and b value and then i have written the equation the equation to be y equals 4.1699 minus 0.0484x now uh, if i am going to predict some value let's assume there is a student who's traveling hours per day so now what i will do is i will substitute that value here that is x is going to be six and then uh, i can substitute and then finally i will get this gpa value to be 3.8795 so once you round it up you can get an approximate value of 3.88 so from this you can from this you can forecast that if there is a student who's traveling about six hours per day that person will get about 3.88 as the gpa value Finally, I think I should uh, tell you about this uh, dependent and independent variable in a regression equation. I think I haven't talked about that earlier. Usually in correlation, it does not matter which variable you take as X value or the Y value. But it is important in a regression equation because you have to find out the independent variable and the dependent variable. Now, for example, if you look at the first example in that we took the harvest and the uh, rain. So here you can obviously see that rain is the independent variable because we cannot control it so based on the rain value you can predict the harvest but you can't predict the rain based on the harvest value that's obviously wrong and in this case also the traveling time and gpa you can look at this which uh, look at this and identify which one is going to be the independent variable and the dependent variable so usually the traveling time is the independent variable based on that you will get the gpa let's assume we will get it like that but you can never say that based on the gpa your traveling time will change so so therefore in this example the traveling time is going to be the independent variable or the x based on that we can find out how much of a gpa the student is going to get so keep it in mind in regression analysis you have to definitely find out which one is the independent variable and what is the dependent variable of that the value is coming from that independent variable